What's up guys, it's Andrew Bishop here, and I just got back from my trip uh, to Florida, which was amazing, praise God, it was such a blessing. Got a pretty good tan, got a little burnt, skin peeled a little bit, but it was it was amazing regardless. Um, I went to Florida for a full week uh, with my family, uh, my dad's side of the family, and on the way home, uh, we went up to North Carolina before we came home. and because I have some uh, family on my mom's side in North Carolina and they had this big uh, Mexican fiesta with uh, my aunts, my uncles, my cousins, uh, their friends, their children, just a whole lot of people for Fun Fellowship. It was awesome. It was just really good time. Well, at this Mexican fiesta, um, there was everything you can think of uh, when it comes to Mexican food, like the typical refried beans, tacos, spicy chicken, beef, I mean, you could have everything. Well, there was also other foods. Uh, there was like, uh, you know, steak, and then there was shrimp, and um, just different different types of other foods as well, but, but it was mainly geared towards the uh, Mexican food, which I love Mexican food, so it was great. Well, of course, like any man would, I got a spicy chicken burrito um, for my first helping and you know filled it with lettuce, sour cream, which I just became to like not too long ago, um, refried beans on it and on the side, cheese, pepper jack, regular and mixed, uh, just everything. I mean everything that, uh, that, uh, that I like I put on it. So I ate it and it was great. Oh, it was amazing. And uh, I had a nice Mountain Dew to go with it to chase it down. It was just awesome, really good. Well, after I ate the first one, I was like, wow, this, this is really good. I was like, I want a second one, but I was like, I want something with, you know, more wet. Because this, the, the one I had, it was good, it was spicy chicken, but it was like a little dry. I wanted something a little bit more juicy, you know what I mean? So, like any man would do on, you know, a Saturday night, I go for my second helping. So I go and, and, and I start making my second burrito, and um, I, I see this like little bowl of, of red, what appears to be salsa. So I'm like, oh, this is perfect. Um, on the first burrito, I had a corn and black bean salsa. So I was like, oh, I'll try this. So I smear this salsa all over. Oh, I was like so excited to eat this. So I put all the salsa on. I'm like, oh, this is going to be great. I go back down to my seat, pour me another little Mountain Dew glass. I take a bite into it. And I'm like, oh my gosh, this is awful. I didn't say that out loud. I just kind of said it to myself. And I was like, maybe I just bit down on something bad in that salsa. I mean, folks, you know what I'm talking about. You know how sometimes if you get salsa, there's onions, there's peppers, but, and maybe if you bite down on, on the wrong part of this, one of those ingredients inside there, it kind of gives a, a spark. So I'm like, oh, that's hideous. So I'm like taking another bite and I take another bite and I'm like, Oh, that's so foul. Like, what is wrong? And, and, and folks, I hate seafood. And I, I, I really don't like shrimp or anything like that. And, and so, I'm like, this smells like seafood. And I was like, it tastes like seafood. I also don't like horseradish sauce. So I'm like, oh my gosh. And so I keep eating because I don't want the food to go to waste. And just the whole time I'm miserable trying to chase it down with Mountain Dew. And I'm like, this is awful. Well, come to find out, that was cocktail sauce I put on my burrito and not salsa. Big, big mistake. And I was I was just like sick. I got stomach sick that night and even the next day I didn't feel 100% because I kept belching up cocktail sauce and I just don't like seafood or cocktail sauce. The smell of it kind of gets me sick. And so I was like, oh, man. so I felt really, you know, bad that night and, and I called my friend Lindsay and, and I told her what what happened and, and quite naturally she laughed like any other human being would and but it was funny because um, as I was talking to her on the phone I I, I realized wait a minute like I, I just kind of set took a step back and I was like you know I God can get glory from this you know this is one of those stories where you know I I, I can turn this into something um, where the Spirit can speak through me and, and God can get glory. So, so what I realized is in life, sometimes we see something that's just going to be great. That we think is exactly what we need to make the whole better. So in life, sometimes we see something that we're like, okay, we didn't have this before. Before was good, it was good. 
but but there was something I could add to it to make it great. It, and then we see something and we're like, this is it. This will make it great. So we use our own feelings, our own intentions, and, and we take it. And, and we put it all over what we had before. And, and we just mix it right in. And and then we go for it. We, we, we live with whatever that is. We add it to our life. And boy, it's not as great as we thought. In fact, it can be a little foul sometimes. Because our heart says it's good. Our, our mind says this is exactly what we need. But maybe that's not what the Word of God says we need. You understand what I'm saying? Whether it be money, whatever that cocktail sauce is, money, new car, new job, new friend, whatever it is that you think, new trends, new styles, new music, whatever you think that is that you are, oh, if I just add that to my life, my life is going to be great. Well, if it doesn't match the word, I'm sorry, it's not going to be great. And so uh, I, I looked up the verse Jeremiah 29, 11. It says, For I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. They are plans for good and not for disaster, to give you a future and a hope. So the Lord has plans for us. You know, We just need to hold tight to His plans for us and not make our own plans without consulting the Lord about it first, without feeling that initial calling to go for it. So um, that was Jeremiah 29, 11. I encourage you guys to read that, that whole book of Jeremiah, a whole chapter. It's just really good. And uh, just remember that maybe we see something that might we might think is amazing and, and going to just, oh, be the best thing in the world. But if it's not of the Lord, if, if it's not what the Lord wants for us, it's not going to be amazing. We're still going to be missing something. I love you guys. Take care.